Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, today I'm going to be expanding off of the compact solo starter base per request. So after you get your honeycomb down right here, we will begin the expansion. Now, if you do not know uh, what the starter base is that I'm expanding off of, I'll have a link to that video pop up right now. We got the honeycomb. Now on this triangle I'm standing on right now, make sure that you leave that top open because I accidentally closed it off in this recording. You're gonna wanna leave that open along with these two over here. This is where our furnaces will go. And now just follow along with this uh, little entrance area right here. It's pretty simple. Just a couple triangles, a couple squares. And this will be our entrance, so we're just going to upgrade everything and put a shop front over here on with some doorways. And then we'll just close everything off and upgrade it. Now you can put um, single door frames here or double door frames if you want to put garage doors in here. Depends on if you have the armored door blueprint or not. I would use garage doors if you do not have that. And then this is how we will get upstairs, which is right outside of the original starter base. It's the first and second triangle. Just put one furnace in there, and like I said, I forgot to leave this open, so you're going to leave that open, and then that's how you get to the second floor. And now I'm just going to wall all of this off and upgrade it. And then this is where our furnaces will go. Now you can put them from the top or come down here and just jump to put the first one down. And you're gonna wanna try to place them as far into the corners as you can to fit all three. And then you'll be able to jump in and out and you'll have some extra furnace space, which is also honeycomb. And then I'm just gonna throw the ceiling down and upgrade it. From here, right behind the furnace, you're going to put a wall. And then you're going to put a uh, half height triangle for some extra storage and a sneaky box. Over in this um, corner above the exit, you could put a shooting area if you wanted to, or you can put another loot room, it is up to you. And then we're going to honeycomb it off right here because there will be a loot room on that square. But your walls are facing the right way. And then we're going to put some honeycomb right there, but do not put this wall. I accidentally put that down. Uh, we're going to be putting a half height triangle right here for some more sneaky boxes
after you get the loot room down, you could put down the bedroom over here. And you're going to want to align the beds up with the edge of the wall to fit two in here, along with two boxes on either side. And then you'll still be able to put door frames down in front of this. And then this is one of the sneaky boxes. Just don't put any code locks on these so nobody destroys them. You could put like a repair bench underneath it or something as well. And then you just remove that large box to access the box behind it. Good place to hide some important things that you would like to not lose if you get offline raided. And you could also put some things in your furnaces over there as well, because once people find these loot rooms, they're probably not going to expect anything to be behind those doors if they don't go through it. Yeah, make sure you get that large box pushed in all the way so that you can't see the box behind it. Then we're going to finish off the door frames. And then you're going to wall off the part above the furnaces so that you can have a walkway over to them so you can get in and out along with having some additional honeycomb and then we're just going to put some more honeycomb right here and put the last loot room down and that'll finish off the second floor Down here, you can get rid of these furnaces and put your level two workbench. And then once you save up for level three, you can throw that down in here. Get rid of your level one workbench or furnaces. And then you can fit a level three in here. So it's right next to your TC for crafting gunpowder, etc. And that's all I have for you guys today. I'll catch you next time with another base build.